Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video today. Today I have a special guest, Brendan from Be Better Golf has come out to Superstition Mountain to visit. And we've actually created quite a few videos. You can find all of those over on his channel, Be Better Golf. Um, but we've come up with a really cool term today. It's something that we, that's been discussed before in quite a few of his videos. Before they had called it lag tension or... Yeah, going back years, people used to say shaffling, I want more shaffling. Yep. But that really only applied to maybe like pitching wedge through like four iron or something like that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe even just seven iron. And, uh, but Milo, it doesn't really do it well because people would send me, say, hey, look at this three wood or this driver, like this golfer doesn't have any shaffling. What do you mean shaffling? So it's not just about shaffling. No, it's, it's definitely not about shaffling. The, the real key is that we don't want the club overtaking our, our lead arm before we hit the ball. So if the, once the club has, has caught up and overtaken the, the lead arm, it's kind of floating, it's, it's, it's on its own. You're, you're no longer in control of it, huh? Yeah, you don't have much control over what happens. So what we, if you look at most really good players, you almost, you generally see the club is still following the, the lead arm. So, so yeah, lag tension was something that it's been called. And we really didn't like that term, it just kind of. Too much tension, like you're holding. Exactly, yeah. sounds like tension. Yeah. So I just kind of off my, the top of my head, I, I said, well, you're, you're towing it into the ball. Kind of like you would tow a skier or you tow a, a trailer. Mm -hmm. And if the, the trailer gets past the, the thing towing it, it's jackknifed, right? It's yeah. out of control. Or if the skier gets beyond the, the boat towing it, it's out of control. So we want to make sure we're continuing to tow the golf club into the, into the golf ball. And there's some real keys to that. So it's kind of like a binary thing. It's like, okay, do you have toe or do you not? You know, are you towing the club through impact or is it its own thing? Exactly. Yeah. So, so show your, your subscribers, Milo, a shot with toe. So a shot with toe, which look, is, you would say like every single shot you hit on the golf course, full swing is, it has toe. Every full swing I make has, has this toe. And the same amount of toe generally? Well, it's relatively similar depending on, you know, we, we experimented with a little bit. If I push out of the ground, it unloads a little bit more, but it's definitely still there. Mm -hmm. um, probably if, I, if I'm making less speed, I'll see less of it. Yeah, but with this driver where, where we've shot some videos, you only have the driver leaning forward like half a degree or a degree yeah, it's, at It's impact. not leaning forward a ton. You, you, have, you have about what I'm calling like a foot and a half a toe where his arms are aimed out here. Yep. See if I do a continuation of this, Yep. a line right there out there that's cool okay so yeah hit a shot it with looks toe. something like this oh that's a great shot and move just like you wanted it to it looked like a milo ball so you'll see in the video that my arms are definitely up in there which means that club face is really stable and i've i've actually had the privilege of being on gears and being able to measure some of those things and it's measurable. It's my the stability of the face is measurable. Well, you can they can measure rate of closure. They wobble can wobble and yeah. Yep, and mine is for as fast as I swing, extremely slow. So the amount of number of degrees that this thing is closing in that that hitting interval is not very many. Okay, Milo. So I'm gonna hit a shot here. How can your viewers of Golfletics now? I got what do I got here? Six iron hit a shot with more toe. So if they're this guy, right, and they want to be more like that, what can they, what can they do? Well, they have to learn how to pivot dynamically so that they're not standing up, so that that requires them to throw it. Oh, okay. So if they're using the ground correctly, sitting down into the ground and pivoting their, their lead side out of the way correctly, mm -hmm. the toe shows up all by itself. So if you want to be able to Tow the golf club into the golf ball correctly, it's all about your sequence. It's about the dynamics of how you move that creates it. You can't artificially get it. It won't happen. Yeah, if, if you're, you have this death grip on the club and you're trying to do that, yeah, yeah, there's just, just too much force. It always... It, it'll always... Yeah. Be, especially if when you, when you do this, the face is wide open, so you only hit a couple of shots like that before you start throwing it again to try to square it. Right. So, 
There's a few a few dynamics. We discussed it a little more in depth on a on a video on that'll that'll go on Brendan's channel, so you should definitely go over and look at that. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Brendan's if, Brendan's if you haven't already. That's Be Better Golf. Thanks for coming. All right. Thank you.